Hey everyone, it is Andrew here from Apple Insider. And as of now, Apple has finally released iOS 13.4 and iPadOS 13.4 to the masses. So what can you expect in Apple's latest update for iPhones and iPads? Let's dig in to find out. So the biggest feature that you can come to expect with iOS 13.4 and iPadOS 13.4 is going to be iCloud folder sharing. So folder sharing was supposed to come as part of iOS 13 and then it just never got into the final release. So here we are a few point updates down the line and Apple has finally got everything worked out and it is now a real feature that you can use. So with iCloud folder sharing, you just jump into the files app on your iPhone or iPad, uh, even on the Mac. You can go into a folder, share it with people, you can share a link, you can share it to individual people, add it to messages, and then once you do, you can decide whether or not they have access to edit anything or if they just view those files in there. Similar to Dropbox or Google Drive, very handy to share files just using the Files app and iCloud Drive on your mobile devices. The next new feature is Memoji stickers. There are nine new Memoji stickers here in the latest updates. So which ones are new? Well, there are nine of them, as we said. There's ones like sitting behind the computer. This is my favorite one, sitting behind the MacBook there. There's also ones with uh, hearts around the face. There's a praying one. There's like the home alone face. There's all sorts of different ones here. So nine new Memoji stickers coming to iPhones and iPads. Apple has also taken the time to rework the toolbar inside of the Mail app. Now you'll see we have the trash icon on the far left, followed by the move to folder icon, followed by the reply icon, and then the compose button. If you jump into reply, you have a bunch of other options there, including flagging, forwarding, replying, all, marking, notifying, mute, all the different things that Apple would encompass in there. So a new revamp toolbar sure to make mail users very happy. Moving on to the smaller changes. Now, whenever your VPN is disconnected, it'll notify you up there in that status bar. Speaking of the status bar, on older devices that don't have a notch, they will now have a full status bar inside of Control Center, so that's very handy. CarPlay has some new controls for audio as well as navigation apps. I'm sure we'll see more from third-party app developers as they get their hands on this. This allows those navigation and call apps to appear on the revamped dashboard, just like Apple Maps and a standard phone call. Siri can now be asked to take you to the home screen. That's a new feature. Before, when you would have your phone face down on a table or was covered, that would be its way of turning off the, hey, uh, assistant. So you could not invoke Siri using just your voice when your phone was face down or covered. Well, now in iOS 13.4, if you go into accessibility, there's a new toggle to always listen for those keywords. So now, even if your phone is face down, you say, hey, Apple's assistant, it'll go ahead and invoke Siri that way as well. So it can always be listening now. There is a new shortcut action for Shazam, allowing you to easily build that into your automation routines. When inside of the music app and you're listening to a song, you have lyric view pulled up. If there's an instrumental beginning to the song, before it would just have uh, nothing, the lyrics kind of just wouldn't start. Now, some ellipses will appear and it'll sit on those ellipses until the instrumental beginning is over and then it'll go ahead and comment into the lyrics with the song. Inside of the Photos app, we have additional hardware shortcuts. So now there's keyboard shortcuts for inside of the Photos app for navigating within the app as well as editing your photos. Should make that a little bit easier for those that have a hardware keyboard attached like Apple's Smart Keyboard Folio. And if you're using whether Apple Smart Keyboard Folio or third-party keyboards, there's a new option to remap hardware keys. So things like the globe key, the uh, command option, all of those keys can now be remapped should be very handy for pro users as well as those using different keyboards and anyone who wants to kind of just get in there and tinker with themselves. iOS 13.4 also brings support for the brand new Powerbeats, Powerbeats 4. We got our hands on these. We were the first ones to share a hands-on with the new Powerbeats. If you're excited to uh, learn more about these, check out that independent video. But 13.4 is where it's at. Of course, this update also brings support for the brand new iPad Pros that are also just set to launch. One more big feature that we've already highlighted extensively in multiple videos is full cursor support arriving in 13.4 for iPads. This includes the new Magic Keyboard that launched this May that has an integrated trackpad, but full cursor support built around that touch interface. It morphs around the UI. A lot of stuff to love there. So if you wanna learn more about the cursor support, be sure to check out its separate video. 
Finally, Apple is going a long way to unify purchases. Now, by default, any Catalyst apps will kind of combine the purchase of iOS, uh, iPad OS, Mac apps, Apple TV apps, all into one purchase so you buy it once works on all platforms. Uh, developers can also enable this manually on their apps as they push updates through. So it's a new way to unify Mac and mobile purchases. So really nice way to kind of bring everything together there as well for the users, hopefully save everyone just a little bit of money. So what do you guys think? Those are the new features that are prominent in iOS 13.4, iPad OS 13.4. We're really excited. So get downloading now. Let me know what you think over on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. And I hope you guys are ready because we are very soon going to see the first builds of iOS 14. So as well on Twitter, let me know what features you'd like to see. Hey everyone, did you guys like that video? Be sure to click on that like button so we can create content that we know that you guys want to see and follow Apple Insider on all social media channels. If you want the best prices on any Apple gear, check out the Apple Insider price guide that is updated daily. And until next time, we'll see you later.